Hey guys, Tao from the Art Factory here to demonstrate the difference between brushing glitter versus poofing glitter on your glitter tattoo. So on my arm, I already uh, applied two of the exact stencil and already applied glue for it to dry just to kind of speed up some things. And I'm going to use these guys that are the six packs from Y Body to do the top butterfly. So I normally try to keep it simple, two or three colors at the most, dip in the brush. You see how it picks up the glitter and then I like working my way from the center out. So this one and now I'm going to do a purple. Let's do the dark purple just for fun. Maybe two. Two colors look like it would be great. So you can kind of see I'm laying. It looks like it's picking up a lot of glitter but it really isn't. It's very little. And once you apply it, you can kind of go back and forth a little bit to create a nice transition here if you want. Some kids really like their tattoos, almost like coloring the shapes. Uh, but this is just fun to have a nice spread. These cup snaps really tight, so it's awesome. Um, you can hold six of them at a time. Just brush off the axis and peel off the stencil. And I believe that there is another piece of stencil right here. So you can see how my butterfly is done and painted and ready to go. And that was using just a brush with a stencil. So the beauty of this is you can hold six colors at a time and move on really fast. You just need to make sure you always close the cup uh, in between each color. Otherwise it could be a big mess. Never leave all these colors open. So that was this. Now let's use our poofers. Uh, these are laser glitters. Should we do similar colors? Uh, same thing, we just take the cap off and you wanna lightly squeeze, squeeze, sorry. If you go really close, you could really get precise here. And if you go a little further, you get a nicer spread. It's really up to you. Some people think that this is uh, less glitter usage. I don't know, I think it's about the same. It just looks uh, that way, whatever works for you. Uh, you may have um, arthritis and maybe a little harder with a squeeze brush. You still have to apply a little bit of pressure for the glitter to come out. But if not, it's a nice, efficient way. One of the greatest things about the poof bottles is, especially if you're working with teenagers, these bottles can lay on the table and nothing will spill ever. So you can leave them open. The, the, there is no opening, closing action going on. Uh, in between application to get this tattoo done. You can leave them all open and apply the tattoos. At this point, it's all done. And I'm just gonna make sure I got this entire stencil out. So, two different color schemes. Lots of glitter on the table. And these are lasers, so they're nice and colorful. So you get uh, a little bit more glitter per color. This is uh, a little over two fluid ounce bottle in volume, so it holds a lot more glitter than the pop-up cups. The pop-up cups are more of a tool made for you to refill and work on. I don't like filling them all the way to the top because that could cause a lot of mess. I do, though, love having the ability to hold 12 colors in my hand at a time while I'm working with kids because they're normally all around me. This can become a big mess if someone kind of shakes their table and they they get knocked uh, over, so it could be messy. Some people like holding them flat on the table so the kids can see the colors. Whatever works for you is fine. There's really no wrong way to apply the tattoo, and uh, they're gonna last about the same length of time. If you're a face painter, working with a pop-up cup could be beneficial because you could use these glitters on the face over face painting as well. So that's just another ability to do with this, where if you use those poof bottles, it would spread a little further. So for this precise application with a brush specifically for face painting, the pop-up cup would be recommended. Working with teenagers at your booth, poof bottles for sure. So whatever works for you, I hope you find this information helpful and uh, you'll see that on our website, there are lots of um, options with the pro kits using both pop-up cups and poof bottles. That's it.